Yo, good morning. We talk about a lot of interesting people on this channel, specifically the ones that look interesting, and it was actually one of your comments that made me dive into this new deep rabbit hole. So thanks for that. If you have any more recommendations, please let me know, because uh, you guys have a lot of them. You guys are the ones that are feeding my brain all of this new, interesting, and weird information. Not sure what time you're watching this, but I hope you enjoy today's bedtime story. So what happens when you are a professional Japanese baseball player named Masumi Kuwata, and you have two sons? You'd expect them to follow in your footsteps, right? Uh, wrong. Parents shouldn't be controlling their kids like that. That's like hover parenting. That's why one of his sons named Masaki became a baseball player for a minor league team in Japan, while his other son named Masashi became a living doll? Oh, my dog is licking his foot. Yes, that, that was my reaction too when I heard that. You know, just wanted to try something new, trying to break out of those chains that society puts on us. I'm just reading up on the beauty standards for dolls. Porcelain skin, big doll-like eyes, and really tiny heads. So to fit into the doll beauty standard, Musashi, who used to look like this, and then looked like this, now goes by Matt, and looks like this. You know, I'm not too familiar with the doll beauty standard, but I think this is... I think we're on the path. The eyes do be very big. Typically dolls don't have really big BBL lips, but hey, it's a human doll. I'm just gonna read a few quotes from this article I found. As people in Japan gush over Matt's ethereal beauty and foreign prince look, Matt is happy to share his beauty tips with his followers. The model son of a Japanese pro baseball star steps out from his father's shadow with a look all his own. Yep, it definitely do be his own. Also, I'm just curious about the name choice. Matt? Something about the name Matt and his aesthetic don't really add up. It seems like he's going for that really expensive royal look, but Matt? Matt's like my coworker. Matt's like the guy that works at the hunting store or the pool boy or something. Eh, maybe his full name is Matthew, I don't know. Okay, so I went into the story thinking that this person got plastic surgery to get this look, but apparently he does all of this with makeup and beauty editing apps. Huh? Oh, oh god. Sorry, my brain just got so tired from uh, trying to process all of that. All right, I'm no plastic surgeon, and I don't know this guy personally. Hmm, I don't know about this, man. Seems a little bit like a unrealistic beauty standard to me to look like this. Like, what if I want anime eyes that take up half my head? Am I supposed to ask my mom? I don't think so. Maybe that's his way of maintaining the fantasy, but going from this to this, I don't know how natural that is. Unless it is, then um, I will have what he is having. <laughs> what kind of food are you eating? How many hours of sleep do you get? Is it because you listened to Bad Baby once? What's the secret? I, I gotta know. This article also mentioned that he looks like a handsome anime character come to life. And you know, nowadays people thirst over 2D and anime guys all the time. Sometimes they're even hotter than real guys. Maybe that's why so many people have self-esteem issues, because we have to compete with people that look like this. I have heard people say though that they wish their anime husbands were real, but I think if that happened, you might be looking at what they might look like. But he sort of does kind of look like a handsome anime character in like a weird uncanny valley sense. Foreign prince? Nah, that's, that's Prince of Tennis right there. See, he's got them big old eyes and that small ass face and skin with not a single pore in sight. Matt said that he uses May 2 and Lightroom to edit his pictures. Oh god, that name, Matt. It just sounds like any regular old guy. But the technology in Asian beauty apps is probably equal to the technology that the FBI uses. You're telling me that I can be 8 feet tall and have the body proportions of a cartoon character? Sign me up, I'm ready to catfish people. I'm taking a look at his Instagram right now and it seems like he's living his best life, not gonna lie. 
Matt seems to be really popular in Japan, and he's living lavishly and getting so many brand deals. His dad was a professional baseball player, so he could be living off some of that trust fund money. But if that's the case, it is what it is. Is his dad looking to adopt an old Asian guy with delinquent looking hair? I can clean floors, I can polish baseballs, and in some of these pictures, I don't know if I'm just getting used to seeing really eccentric looking people, but he really doesn't look that bad in some of them. It could be the Photoshop, but he's sort of looking normal to me. Also, what is that? What is that? What, what was, was that? that? Why does that look familiar? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Uh oh. Oh my god, Matt. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, I think you've been chosen. I, I think you've been noticed. Oh no, Matt! Oh no, I am so sorry. I, you need to run. You, you need to get out of here. Or maybe not. Isn't Ollie London usually obsessed with Asian guys? But this is a Japanese man that looks European and not Asian, but he is 100% East Asian. <laughs> Wow, is this an episode of Black Mirror or something? The cogs in my brain are really working overtime to figure this out. That's the game you have to play though, if you want to work in the entertainment industry and be relevant. Just having talent isn't going to cut it anymore. You have to stand out and be really different, since it's so competitive. Yeah, these people here are doing exactly that. Japanese living doll model, Matt. Matt! Why not, like, Matthew? That would have sounded so much better. Stars in commercial, alongside actual doll family. The f ones. Sorry, I think I said that wrong. The Fukons. I'm a little nervous to watch this, cause the Uncanny Valley man, it's, it's really showing. I have no idea what this is. Is this the aesthetic to look scary and creepy? <laughs> Well, that was disturbing. I've, I'm glad he was able to do a cameo, get that bag. But seeing him in real life is actually a whole different vibe compared to his pictures. He still has all of those exaggerated features like his big eyes and small face. It's definitely not as animated, but the features are still there. All I have to say is that he is really good at facetune and makeup. When your features are really big and exaggerated, you tend to look a little bit better in pictures. Just because the camera flattens everything out. I think the Kardashians sort of have this effect. Where if you see them in pictures, you're like, wow, they look very good. But then if you see them in real life, the, the features might be like, oh, that that's very mommy. Sorry, I, I mean, mommy? <laughs> Sorry, I mean, stormy? And then in video form, you tend to look more like your real self. Oh god, what is this? <laughs> I've... One thing about Japanese commercials is that they're actually very creative. I kind of like it, even though I don't know what's happening. Oh, I thought I did for a second. Uh, turns out I have no idea what's happening. Huh. Oh my god. Um, okay. Okay. I, I don't know what to say. Another thing that caught me by surprise, Matt is a full-on singer. He has a full-on singing career, and he's actually pretty good at singing. I watched a few of his music videos, if you want to check them out yourself, because I don't want to get copyrighted. Matthew Kawata, what in the tar nation? Is that how a white dad would talk? I've never been one before, so I wouldn't know. It literally sounds like one of those anime opening or ending songs. So getting plastic surgery to look like another race while making music on the side. Not to compare or anything, but isn't this like a reverse Ollie London? Except the comparison is high-end, and this one is more budget-friendly. 
which is fine, nothing wrong with that. We need all types of people to create some balance in the world. Okay, one thing I did find pretty wholesome though is that he's still pretty close with his dad. Asian parenting culture is uh, very strict sometimes and kind of toxic. Even if his dad agrees or doesn't agree with what he's doing, I'm glad they still have some sort of relationship. Because I feel like a lot of Asian parents would look at this and be like, Hey, yeah. Well, is Matt happy with how he looks? Possibly, according to his social media, he's having the best time of his life. Behind the camera, he could be sad, dealing with issues just like everyone else. I feel like everyone's sad to a certain degree, so nothing wrong with that. If you enjoyed today's video and it made you happy and not sad for about 10 minutes, feel free to feed that YouTube algorithm with a like and a comment. If you do that, I'll promise you that your favorite anime character will come to life. Okay, maybe not. I, I will promise you that they will not come to life, and they will stay 2D forever. It's probably for the best. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one.